This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the cinematic look from the groundbreaking movie Sin City. This tutorial is for version CC and later. Before we begin, make sure you click the subscribe button at the lower right to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. If you'd like to use the photo I'm using for this project, its link is in my video's description or project files. Feel free to use another photo if you like. Just make sure it has plenty of high contrast shadows and highlights, and make sure most of the background is very dark. The size of this photo is 2000 pixels in width by 1125 pixels in height. Its resolution is 150 pixels per inch. As always, make sure the image mode is RGB color and 8 bits per channel. If it's not RGB and 8 bits, many of the Photoshop filters will be grayed out. The first step is to make our photo into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. In the recent versions of CC, the Camera Raw Filter will look like this. In earlier versions, it'll look like this. Open Color Mixer. Adjust the HSL, which is an acronym for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. Under Saturation, make the reds plus 100 and all of the rest minus 100. On earlier versions of CC, the Color Mixer icon is here. Notice the only color showing is red and some peripheral pinks. Next, we'll increase its contrast. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. Before we make adjustments to it, keep in mind, since every photo has its own characteristics of brightness and contrast, you may want to use different amounts for your photo. For this image, I'll make the shadow input level 30 and the highlight input level 180. Next, we'll add rain. We want to create a new layer below the Levels Adjustment layer, so Control click or Command click the New Layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with black, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Convert it into a smart object so we're free to adjust the filters that we add to it. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 150%, Gaussian, and Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 0.3 pixels. Go back to Filter and Blur once more and this time click Motion Blur. Make the angle 60 degrees and the distance 60 pixels. Open Levels by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Make the shadow input 100 and the highlight input 130. To remove the white areas along the top and bottom, We'll enlarge our image by pressing Ctrl or Command T to open our Transform tool. If you see this message, it's just letting us know that the filters will be temporarily turned off while we use the Transform tool. Just click OK. At the top, make sure the Chain Link icon is active so that the transform's width and height are linked. Type into either field 110%. Then press Enter or Return twice. Change the Blend Mode to Lighten and reduce its opacity to 30%. Make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Open your Transform tool and click OK. Type into either the width or the height 200%. Then press Enter or Return twice. 
double click Motion Blur and click OK. Make the distance 150 pixels. Double click Levels. In the Shadows input, type in 108, and in the Highlight input, type in 110. Make the Blend Mode Normal and the Opacity 100%. Convert it into a Smart Object and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the Radius 2 pixels. Change the Blend Mode back to Lighten and make its Opacity 60%. Lastly, let's sharpen our image under the rain. Scroll down and make our subject active. Go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Basically, the Unsharp Mask filter sharpens an image by increasing contrast along its edges. For this image, I'll make the amount 50%, the radius 4 pixels, and the threshold zero levels. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.